Hello, welcome to Stole Print Weekly Pick Your Crystal. Thank you very, very much for being here. Um, I truly do support, or, or, or I truly do appreciate the support, um, the comments, the thumbs up. It's all, um, I'm very grateful for all of it. And uh, again, I, I thank you for the, the support you have shown this Saturday morning kind of ritual. All righty, so this week, October 6th, through the 12th, we have purple, green, and I'm calling this one peach, actually. So <clears throat> take a moment and see which crystal or crystals are resonating with you or calling your name or attracted to. It might be one. It might be two. Sometimes it's all three. Um, take a moment. And let's get started. <clears throat> All right, what do we have here? The Two of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. All right, so this there's a lot of kind of um, money stuff or tangible stuff, asset kind of energy to this reading with all of... <clears throat> those pentacles. Um, okay, so the two of wands. The two of wands talks about sort of having an initial accomplishment completed. Sometimes it talks about a partnership. Sometimes it's about you know, kind of looking, waiting for your ship to come in, trying to figure out what the next step or stage is. But it's definitely an energy of, of action, of things moving forward. The Page of Pentacles is bringing you good news. The Ace of Pentacles is bringing you um, new financial um, successes, be beginnings. It could be representing important documents. It could be talking about a gift. It could be talking about, um, you know, a, a successful, you know, business partnership. It could be talking about, um, you know, selling um an asset that is, you know, has some significant worth because what's following is the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles sort of is, is about kind of that financial stability. It's about feeling secure. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is, she's capable. She's practical. She's on it. You know, she's on the job. She's getting it done. But under it all, there really is just a sense of, financial stability or financial success. I have to tell you, the first thing that comes to mind is something like if you are waiting, for example, to sell property, um, there's good news coming your way. The price is going to be very comfortable for you and that's going to take you to a place of greater financial stability or wealth. Now, that's just one example that's going to have to do with partnership and things moving forward in that way. It could have to do with even, you know, like communications, things coming together and again, receiving good news and things moving forward. These are really awesome cards. I got to tell you, like the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles um, is just a really, really lovely uh, energy. And don't forget that the earth, pentacles are about the earth. So it's about the material aspects of life. It's about finance. It's about property. The, those things that are tangible. But whatever this is, it very definitely looks like you've got some real good news coming and it's going to put you in a very welcome position. All right. And here we go. The world. Seven of Cups. Justice. And the Magician. Wow. So you have out of four cards, you have three higher arcana cards. All right. Let's get started. The world. Something is coming to a close or has come to a close. And it's, it's about a new beginning. It is about starting fresh. It is about, you know, having gained the wisdoms or accomplished that which you're trying, have been trying to accomplish. And there is now a feeling that it is complete and you're able to move forward. 
that may very well put you in a seven of cups position where you're almost like um, overwhelmed with options or choices or, you know, just slightly confused about which way to go and how to move forward. Justice is interesting sitting here because this talks about fair. It talks about equitable. It talks about a um, successful resolution to something that is is legal. Um, it's something, you know, connected to power. It could be conflict. Now, don't forget also, swords talk about, um, and I'm talk referencing that because she's got this sword here. Uh, swords also talk about sort of your ambitions and your thoughts and the magician. The magician is bringing you some magic, some serendipity, some things falling together in a way that perhaps you aren't expecting or weren't expecting. So the cards are really lovely and the energy of it is, is I'm really liking it because it really is about energy moving forward, receiving the help and guidance you need, recognizing that things are are, are balancing or going to be balanced and and I, I think that the seven of cups there is just reminding you to not get overwhelmed by choices or options um and not try to put you, you, sort of everything on your plate all at once um it, it's important sometimes to um Take a moment, take time, reflect, think about what actually serves you, what is in your highest good. Because you've got justice here, this is this is about, you know, making kind of careful decisions and wise choices. The magician, as, as I said, it's bringing you some serendipity. He's bringing you some magic and some luck. So be mindful that you are at a new beginning, a new start, and there is, you know, a lot of options that are going to be opening up for you. Justice can also be about karma. So, is it perhaps that the magician is bringing you a karmic blessing because you have completed a task or a period of time and it's now time for you to look at the different options you have, the new things that you can draw into your life, always recognizing that um, when things are just and fair, and balanced and wise, it, it tends to just simply work out better for all parties concerned. So look for some magic. Recognize that there is an ending, which means there absolutely is a new beginning. Don't get overwhelmed and choose wisely. And each, what do we have here? Ten of Wands. The Empress, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. Okay. All right. The Ten of Wands is asking you basically to hang in there. It's it's letting you know that truly there is light at the end of the tunnel. You are almost finished um, a, a task or a journey an understanding, a clarity. It speaks about it being difficult. This wasn't no, um, you know, walk in the park, whatever this represents. But you've gained so much from it. You've gained so much wisdom and understanding and clarity. On the one hand, the wands that he carries are a burden because they're on their, his back and it's heavy to carry. But don't forget, wands are about um, words, communication. Sometimes it's about actions. It's about your consciousness. So it's very possible that the wands have brought him wisdoms and understandings that now he's carrying forward with him, you know, into a new, a new future. 
or an accomplishment of what he's trying to to have happen. The Empress is sitting here basically telling you that there is abundance and new growth and new beginnings coming your way. There is an expansion. There is a a birth. It could be a tangible birth, like a child. It could be the birth of a new idea, the birth of a new beginning. But there is growth, just absolute growth. The Eight of Pentacles is asking you to continue to work hard, stay focused, and do basically the, the, the job, okay? Um, the It can often talk about a new, a new job or something new being added or coming into your life, but the bottom line with the Eight of Pentacles is always about sort of working consistently, staying focused, accomplishing what you want to accomplish, and not I almost want to say not giving up too soon or too early because the Ten of Wands is letting you know that it's almost done. The task is almost done. The the Knight of Cups is bringing you, um, you know, sometimes it brings you love proposals, um, you know, uh, romantic, romantic ideas or romantic beginnings. But it can also be sometimes about seeing things a little bit in a more, um, I don't want to say this, a idealistic way. And not that that's a bad thing, but you want to make sure that you maintain clarity as you go forward. And the night is bringing you that forward momentum, that forward going energy. So it's almost done. And there's new starts and new beginnings anticipate the success and the abundance that comes from it and know that that then takes energy to maintain it it requires your work your attention and your focus but ultimately it takes you it brings you to a place where there's much much more um happiness a sense of emotional fulfillment and finally a feeling of moving forward kind of without the burden because these burdens have been turned into wisdoms and so they're no longer a burden to carry it's no longer hard and arduous it has simply become um, a, a kind of a part it has been integrated into your being those those new lessons and wisdoms the empress growth. So work hard, stay focused, know that there are wonderful things coming down the road for you. Don't be surprised by a sudden expansion or growth and hang in there, hang in there because it's almost, you're almost, you know, at the light, right? You're, you've almost finished walking through the tunnel. Um, just keep moving forward and recognize that as you're moving forward, you are gaining something. You are gaining knowledge, um, understanding, you are gaining contacts, communications. It, it's a nice grouping of cards because you're working hard. It's going to create the expansion you're looking for and there's good and happy news in your way. All right. Thank you very much for being here. I'm... Um, Going to wish you a week of light and sparkly, happy energy. Until next week, take care. Bye-bye.